Hey everybody, Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. So one of the other cooks we're doing this weekend, uh, the holiday weekend, the Christmas season, is a six and a half pound standing rib roast. Now this rib roast is not prime, it's choice, uh, but it'll be still very good. And I'm actually gonna do this in the oven. Basically how I do this is I make a crust, a buttery crust that I put on it, uh, and I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and I'm probably gonna leave it there overnight and just let it kind of crust over. Um, I'm gonna wrap it with saran wrap so it'll stay nice and fresh. I'm gonna make a seasoning for it that I'm gonna mix into the butter, and then we'll go from there. Um, generally when you do these, you generally do them, the average is five minutes per pound at 450, and you don't even open the oven, you leave it sitting in there, you turn it down to 200 degrees, and you let it go until the internal reaches 115 to 120 degrees for medium rare. Um, I'm gonna put the meat stick uh, thermometer probe, wireless probe in it, and we'll see how she does. Um, to get it to where it's right around 115, after you've turned your oven down, you, on average, it's in between two to three hours. So we'll see what the uh, meat stick says, and we'll see how this crust comes out, and we'll get into uh, making up this crust on it. So stay tuned.
Okay, so I've got the crust uh, all put on it, the buttery uh, Kerrygold garlic and herbs, and then I made a little herb on top of it uh, using rosemary, sage, and thyme. Added some sea salt to it. Also added some coarse black pepper. Uh, I mixed all that together. I spread it all over the roast. Um, this is a bone-in roast. It's already tied and I came back and I added more sea salt and black pepper once I had it all done. So right now we're going to take this, we're going to put it in the fridge for overnight. We're going to pull it out tomorrow. Probably, uh, I like to pull it out about an hour before I put it in the oven. I'll turn the oven on to, like I said, 450. We do five minutes per pound. This is a six and a half pound, so we're going to go about... 30 minutes at 450 in between 30 and 35 then we're just going to crank the oven down to 200 and we're just going to let it go for another couple hours uh, we'll have the meat stick in it the whole time so we'll be monitoring the temps once it hits about 115 i'm going to pull it out i'll probably tin it with tin foil and i'll let it rest till it reaches about 120 and then we'll cut into it somewhere in between 120 and 125 so let's see how this turns out. Okay, here's our six and a half pound rib roast. We got it in the uh, roasting rack. Let's get the meat stick probe in there. So what we wanna do, we wanna take it all the way to there. And we're gonna get our oven in, it in the oven. Right now we got the oven set at 450 degrees. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. We'll turn the light on, see what the crust looks like. And then we're gonna kick it down to 250. And we'll just let it ride till it reach, reaches uh, in between 115 to 120. So let's get it in the oven. Okay, so we've been running it now for 35 minutes at 450. Uh, says the internal's like 80. So it's time now to turn our oven down. We're gonna kick it down to 250. And we're just gonna let it ride right there until the meat stick says that it is 115 internal. Okay, so you see how this uh, rib roast turned out. It's just mm, perfect, just the way that I wanted it. So you saw how I did that. I put it in and coated it with that butter, uh, herbs, garlic and rosemary, sage, thyme, salt and pepper. And then um, I cooked it basically five minutes per pound. And this is like six and a half pounds. So I cooked it at 450 for about 35, 40 minutes, right in that range. And then I turned it down to 250. 
and I use the meat stick in it to let it come up to an internal of 115. I actually let it go to 120 and then I pulled it out and we tinted it with foil and we let it sit. And it probably sat uh, for an hour on top of the stove and it just slowly finished cooking. And it is just the perfect medium rare you ever seen. So that's what's left to do, but take a bite of it. So right there, you can see. Mmm. Cheers. <laughs> wow, did I make that? Oh my. <laughs> That is gonna be some good heats right there. Wow, that is so good. We're gonna be uh, making up some aju, and then I like a little bit of horseradish. Uh, then we're gonna be adding, you know, uh, some mashed taters to go along with this. But I'm telling you, this rib roast came out perfect. And that meat stick worked great in the oven. And let me know what the oven was running at and then also let me know what the internal was. If you saw, I stuck that kind of through it, I guess you would say um, perpendicular to the bones, uh, so it wouldn't pick up the bones. It was more in all the meat, and uh, this is just beautiful, and I can't wait to eat. So, uh, you know, as I always say, you can do this too. Thank you for watching, and grill on, even if it's in the oven. Till next time.